What's going on guys? In this video, I will show you uh, Paranoid Android uh, 4R3, uh, which is RC2, uh, 2.99 version for the Galaxy S2. And this ROM is also available for, uh, I think, other variants of the Galaxy S2 too. Uh, but I have here the i9100. So this ROM is uh, the latest build and it is pretty smooth. I have no uh, performance issues uh, so far and let me just show you here in the settings about phone and this is and a 4.3 uh, jelly bean and this is the paranoid android version um, 3.99 RC2 so it is the latest build um, here we have the build number if you tap a couple of times you say you are a developer and this ROM is uh, stable with the Dormax kernel uh, version uh, 9.41 and you can check this kernel out because uh, it runs pretty darn awesome and I have a very great battery life, and uh, I doesn't overclock, I do not uh, overclock my phone, uh, but still the battery life is uh, pretty good on this ROM. So I have also, you know, installed a couple of apps on this uh, ROM, which are working great. And one thing I will uh, recommend you is that not to, uh, you know, launch the Focal app because uh, Sanjay Mod has officially dropped the support for this app because this app is available in Play Store and it will not work uh, in this uh, ROM. Uh, and latest build of the 4R3 as, uh, is officially now available without Focal app. Uh, because it will cause some problems if you launch it then your original camera will not work just like uh, I've done a review about the Vivo ROM and on that video you can see that my camera is not working anymore just because of this app here focal um, this will cause some uh, pretty messed up problems and also uh, my Play Store was, wasn't working but uh, in this ROM uh, I haven't you know launched this app uh, so my camera is working great as you can see here flash uh, I can take pictures um, if you slide to left I will have my gallery no problems in gallery um, uh, you can also uh, switch to video mode here you can record video with no problems uh, no stopping if you touch in the screen uh, like the problems on CM 10.2 it is pretty stable can play video no problem uh, I've installed a couple of video players uh, because the default one doesn't score a lot of them as you can see here video is working everything is working pretty great and now I'm going to show you here uh, my Wi-Fi let's just enable Wi-Fi here And also we do get the Pi controls. Uh, Pi controls is, you know, um, pretty neat feature of uh, any ROM. They are pretty convenient, but sometimes they they annoy because uh, when playing games like GTA 3, uh, you have to, you know, accelerate your phone very close here. Uh, you might accidentally, accidentally press here back button that will exit the game. So, uh, other than that, Pi controls are good and they're working uh, without any problem. Also, I have the Halo uh, Halo notification enabled. Um, let me just show you here. So this is also working great right now. I have no I have no um, notifications. So let's check out here the browser. Let's open up a website here um, let's open up wwe.com oh no let's open facebook.com
my Wi-Fi is not, you know, performing well at the moment because of some problems. That's why it is, you know, uh, very slow, slowly loading the website. Because when, you know, storm hits, uh, something happens to my Wi-Fi device. Uh, I've used the Wi-Fi. It was working great, but here it is, you know, some called problems. Let's just load a lighter website here, google.com. As you can see, Wi-Fi is working. I can show you here and with no problems like uh, browser stopped or everything, no lags. So let me just go you through the settings. Uh, let's go through the settings here. We have here the dark paranoid Android, which is like, you know, when you turn it on, it will uh, give you a more dark feeling. Uh, when you turn it off, it will show you, you know, a normal grayish. Uh, so it is, you know, now nowadays this option is available in a lot of ROMs, a lot of lots of lots of ROMs. We have the hybrid properties. You can um, uh, launch your phone in a tablet UI. You can change the colors, a tablet UI, stock UI, and you can change the DPI with these uh, hybrid properties. And also we have here themes. You can apply CN 10.2 themes. You can download it from the um, Play Store. As I've downloaded a few of them, I have the EL theme here. Let's apply this theme. As you can see now, something is a little bit changed. As you can see, these icons are, you know, like sense icons. These are icons from sense. As you can see, my bar here is changed, battery bar. Um, here I have some of the toggles that are also changed. Um, pretty good themes from CM10.2 um, available on the Play Store. You can download it for free. Some are, you know, uh, some will cost you a $1, but you can download it from uh, APK Mania if you want to download free. So, um, other than that, pretty stable ROM. I would recommend you to install it uh, if you want to install a 4R3 ROM. And also good battery life and good gaming. So, hope you guys have enjoyed my video. And give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, then feel free to comment down below. And I will see you in my next video. Peace out.